Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The last time I checked, we're in August. FC24 is nearing its end, and we're all spamming these footies packs and player picks during the time of Ultimate Team that is supposed to be the most fun. But what happened yesterday was something I was not prepared to see, and it gave me beginning of the game type of vibes. And you might need to check your club for some easy coins. In an unexpected area. We're going to talk about that today because of one SBC that dropped yesterday. And also the first news about footies team number five. Yes, guys, we are going to have another team of footies in packs this Friday. And there's been some official confirmation of that with packs that have been added to the code. And hey, maybe today, just like last week on Thursday, we have another glitched SBC and objective where the players don't show up in the game. We'll look at that in more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. So let's get into the content for from yesterday first starting with the objective section where EA did something kind of nice yesterday guys because it's the final week of this season if you did not know we have seven more days if you're still on the chase to get to 99 Holland which I see in literally every single foot champs game that I play right now I know a lot of people have them already but if you're still on the chase like me or half-heartedly working your way towards level 40 we have more XP to go and get in the footies Jonas wind objective that they dropped yesterday EA dropped 3,000 XP, which is a lot more than normal. I think last week there was either 500 or 1,000 inside of this. So 3,000 here is really, really nice. Score six goals with 95 plus paced players or play five matches with three Bundesliga players to get that XP done and dusted a couple squad battles games or just build a squad around them for champs or rivals and you're good to go. And it's not a bad card. It's just not a super crazy card. If you're a Wolfsburg fan, if you're Danish, then you're loving this. Five-star skills, aerial quick step, interesting combo, but then incisive pass and power shot plus might be a fun card to try. But of course, not the most meta as a 95 but a fun one and the xp is really nice now let's talk about the biggest w of yesterday's content on a wednesday honestly maybe the second biggest w but the player sbc that we had yesterday is actually making some waves because the biggest thing about this that i love and a lot of people i think love is the fact that it takes an icon who most of us probably have never used because none of his cards are ever usable and it makes him worthy of the end game at least worth a try to be completely honest we're talking footies bobby moore 98 rated he was our defender right we were been asking for a defender sbc we've had so many attackers and midfielders somebody in the defense here guys i get it i know a lot of people don't like this because he's not very meta he's only five foot ten he doesn't have aerial plus he's probably going to get slam dunked on by the six foot seven six foot six weg horses and crouches that are out there you know that everybody's running for the whipped pass plus aerial plus meta but this is a fun card to do in literally like 20 minutes of crafting in the menus and just to try him out right three star four star medium high work rates he's got anticipate slide tackle jockey and long ball pass plus with 98 defending and 96 physical also 91 dribbling for a center back is crazy i wish he had an alternate position of right back left back or center defensive mid even because i think he'd be interesting to try in any of those different parts of the pitch maybe not just as center back but regardless he's got good play styles he does have aerial regular but again he's not going to be the most meta but again this is just a fun card to try out for a very cheap price of seven squads with the highest rated being a 91 89 88 87 82 and then a bronze and a silver like again guys you can look at this SBC and footbin and see almost a thousand thumbs up and only 354 thumbs down i get the thumbs down yes he's not the most meta but this is one of the like not of the most meta SBCs we've had that is also really fun at the same time because again I don't think I've ever used Bobby Moore's card they gave us the winter wild cards as an SBC and then they gave this card out for free later on in the year if you guys remember that this guy was literally free from an objective and he had 99 dribbling but like I don't think I ever used Bobby Moore ever in any FIFA and now I can go do an SBC for 250k and actually have a usable card that might be fun to try out. That's one thing I love about this. And I think a lot of people love this as well, just because it's an easy, quick try. And it's something to craft as well. Maybe you only play 10 games of them, but I think that's fine. I think it's fine. Just because it is a fun, cheap card that is super fun to try. So that's a W. I really don't think there's anything else to say about that. If you don't like it because it's not the most meta, then just, you know, keep working on the Yaya SBC or Janola or whatever you're going to be 
crafting because those cards are definitely more meta, but this one's definitely fun. Now, the other SPC we had yesterday, probably the best one we would say, is that footies guaranteed pack that we were looking forward to. The footies team one through four upgrade, which of course gave us a chance at packing all the footies except for the icons. This came in at an 86 and an 88 rated squad, which of course, it's an upgrade pack during footies. It's worth a try because it's basically free. Well, the pack weight though, since it's cheap and this SBC only comes in at 82,000 coins from scratch, is not very good. The pack weight is not great on these guys. We probably opened like 25 of them yesterday and our best pull was Goretzka. We had a couple of Benzema's though, which was pretty interesting. But then most of the cards that we packed were like Rafa Marquez, Courtois, Ole Solskjaer, right? And some of the other 95 and 96 rated like Mascherano, Diego Carlos was popping a bunch. And then from Footy's Team 4, especially, you had a lot of like Casemiro's and Colaires and Gutsas and Koulibaly's. It was a lot of fodder, honestly, a lot of fodder. But it's still worth a try because why not, right? At the stage of the game, we're in with the craftability of the menus, of course, like we say every single day, it was worth a shot. Now, also yesterday, it was Wednesday. And you know what? I almost completely forgot to talk about this because on Wednesdays for the last month, we've been talking about team of the season cards. But guess what? Team of the season cards, we don't have to buy them anymore. We don't even have to think about them because they're basically discard price and we're all packing them daily in multiples by the 85 tens and the 84 times tens that we all get to open, even the 82 plus player picks. So Todd's cards actually did drop yesterday. If we take a look at Dewsbury Hall, right? Our guy we look at every single day, he went from 16, 17,000 coins to 13K. So like all Tots dropped yesterday for sure once again. So I guess if you wanna go do that Tots or Team of the Week SBC that are tradable at the moment, you could get yourself a free 25,000 coins if you're trying to make some coins because those SBCs did refresh. Now, as I mentioned in the intro of the video, guys, there was something absolutely bizarre yesterday that we saw happening on the market that I don't think anybody expected. Guys, we're going to talk about bronze cards. Yes. Now, with the Bobby Moore SBC that came out yesterday, since it came out as a regular icon SBC, unlike Mia Ham, which is fantastic, right? You start with a bronze and a silver squad. And after I got to thinking, there's actually a lot of these out right now. Bobby Moore, Baggio, who a lot of people are probably crafting, he's got the bronze and silver squad. Maybe you're working on Eto, he's got the bronze and silver squad. Of course, Mia Ham does not, but maybe you're even working on Kaka. He's got the bronze and silver squad. Butro Gueno, I think also also has the bronze and the silver squads as a part of doing the SBC. And since so many of these are craftable right now, and people are just putting their fodder into these and getting the players done and trying them out, because the menus are so craftable and because it's footies, bronze cards yesterday on this game, I kid you not, were selling for 10 thousand coins the bronze rares specifically because of the icon of species and if you don't believe me you can go back and watch the vod from the stream yesterday because we saw it for probably a good 5 10 15 minutes there were bronze cards selling on the market for nine to ten thousand coins because when you would search the market for bronze rare cards all you would see was cards that were listed up for that price now of course as people noticed that the prices were spiking listings came in and the prices dropped right now all of these bronze rare cards are right around about a thousand but you can see here boom this one just sold for 1700 coins we scroll back a page here we can see 3400 1300 list your bronze rares people are buying them right now and as we saw this around the content drop yesterday i listed some up for my club you can see here i probably spent five minutes listing cards and I did end up selling one for 9,900 to a lazy sale. But a lot of these I'm selling like 2.9K, right around 3,000 coins. You can see I've listed a lot there. I even have a lot listed up right now. Like they're not selling for 2.9K. They're just listed up for lazies and I'm still getting sales at those prices. So that is one thing I did want to mention to you at the moment, guys, is check your clubs for bronze rares. It's honestly a crazy phenomenon that is happening because of all the icon SPCs that are out right now that require the bronzes. I mean, look, they're selling still like instantly, I think for like six or 700, 850 almost instantly, 800 instantly for the bronze rares, which is crazy. And they're probably going to go back up a little bit more even today as people are getting back on and doing more of those icon SBCs. It's honestly just mad because in previous times during the year when we had a lot of icon SBCs, which usually have the bronze and the silver requirements in them, you know, we've seen gold and not gold, but bronze and silver rares go up to like 
500 coins, maybe maximum 700. And today they were literally selling for 10,000 coins for a little bit, but then even one to 2,000 coins for multiple hours after the content drop because of the hype of the Bobby Moore, the Baggio, and all the other SBCs that we have out at the moment. Now, that was a massive, massive surprise. And it gave me the beginning of the game vibes because here in just about a month and a half, we're going to be looking at these types of bronze cards that people will be using and buying for the starter SBCs and maybe even for some starter teams at the beginning of the year because we'll be looking into starting off our brand new accounts and it's just so hilarious that we are here in the end game where fodder is flowing so freely everybody is crafting opening packs for everything that is out and yet it's those bronze cards that people are going and having to spend coins on on the market to get for SBCs. Just kind of ironic. You know what it also is good? It's a good reminder that footies is still, even though it hasn't been the absolute best this year, footies is still a top tier promo and one of the biggest promos every year that people look forward to in the end game. People are still are playing this game right now that have not played since team of the year or maybe since team of the season they took time off it wasn't fun for them but footies brings people back and footies gets people on this game because when else do you have the opportunity to just open player picks and open packs all the time and have fun packing cards that uh, are being re-released with just how many cards are in packs it's it's just kind of fun man i even set up 10 player picks which also this is a shout here if we're thinking coins and being productive open your i just packed angelotti he might sell but open your preview packs every day you could pack a tots card and make profit that's another thing to talk about right now in this game i just am literally trying to get to my unassigned because i have 10 player picks here that i was going to open but that's the point i was trying to make too with this is that man the craftability of the menus right now and the number of people that just have fun with this sort of content since it is end game type stuff even though we've had our frustrations with the player species the pack weight of some things like when else do you get the opportunity to chase 99 Messi and then other 98 rated cards and 98 Dino and R9 in packs at the same time? Like, you don't, right? It's the end game, it's footies, and that's what the fun with this is. So enjoy the craft while you can, and hopefully your player picks are better than these because, my goodness, what is EA cooking with this set of 10 player picks? There we go. That's a little bit better, Joao Pedro. We started great with that Courtois and have had nothing since. Um, yesterday, my biggest pull was from Weekend League Rewards. And I was literally thinking over the weekend, wow, it's not going to be worth it for me to play Weekend League, but I played anyway. And uh, I did actually end up getting myself a Saliba Path to Glory. Really, really lucky pull from the 95 plus player pick and rewards yesterday. So if you want to currently see the squad, this is the squadron at the moment. I did uh, pack Onabate in the video yesterday as well from an 85 times 10. And then we got Salib's 98. So he sits Vidic down and he goes into the main team. So that's kind of what we're cooking with at the moment. Just, of course, trying to get used to Mia Hamm, as I mentioned. Spent three hours and 30 minutes crafting this SBC and a lot of fodder and just haven't quite got her card down pat yet. So, again, enjoy the endgame craft while it is here. Play with the crazy cards. Enjoy some of that gameplay. Get your champs. Qualifications done today. Um, now, rivals, we're speaking of that here, rivals rewards are today. So, what are we going to be crafting today? What's the new stuff coming out today on a Thursday? Well, firstly, starting with rivals rewards, is there a shout to maybe save rivals rewards? I'm not playing them because I finished foot champs. I don't know if I'm going to play the cup at all this week. We were playing pro clubs on stream yesterday, just an absolute blast. But the only reason I raise that question is because maybe you don't love the footies cards that are in packs right now, and we know that the batch, best of batch three, re-release is not changing this Friday. Those same cards are going to be in packs. But let's say you're not a huge fan of the footies team four and the Drogba or whatever, and you want to wait and see what comes out for team five. Maybe saving your rivals rewards could be a shout, just to say it. I know it's like, wow, saving packs in August. I know, but EA confirmed yesterday that team number five of footies is going to be coming out as we do have one more full week of this promo because of the pack code that was added for this Friday on the game. As you can see here, footies week five guaranteed pack. There's an 84 times 35 that gives you a footies guarantee from week number five. There's also some interesting kind of like ultimate footies packs. It's like this last week of footies is kind of like ultimate footies in a way. There's an 86 times 25 that gives you two guaranteed footies items from any of the weeks of footies with one of them guaranteed to be 97 or higher. That's kind of a crazy high rated guarantee from that ultimate footies duo guarantee. There's also a regular footies guarantee, which is an 85-20 with one 
guaranteed footies card. So really, really interesting to have this added to the code here. A little bit of a confirmation of footies team number five and also a 97 plus cap or not a cap, but a 97 plus minimum on a store pack coming for footies this Friday. So if you want to save some packs, go ahead and do it. I did not play rivals this week. No rewards for me, but it is the last week possible to get into a higher division of rivals for the last set of rewards before the season reset comes around. Now, also, remember last Thursday, and we've already mentioned this a couple times this week because the cards are still nowhere to be found. Last Thursday was the day that we had the Alexandra Pop and Cordoba mistake where the cards were showing up in concepts, but they actually weren't in the game. So what's going to happen today? Are we going to get Cordoba? Are we going to get Alexandra Pop, both as SBCs or somewhere in this game? Or are these cards just going to be forgotten about and no longer seen? Or are EA going to drop a couple more cards today that are supposed to be in SBCs and objectives and they'll be in concepts and then they won't actually be achievable or findable or grindable in the game. Will there be another glitch like that today? We're going to keep our eyes open because it's happened each of the last three weeks of footies with the Sterling, the Carvalho, then the Pop, the Cordoba. So who's it going to be this week? Oh, the Schweinsteiger as well. It might be four weeks, actually, that it's been happening. So we'll be watching out for that today as well. But I would expect a player SBC. We've been getting a player SBC every single day now through all the entirety of footies. So there's probably going to be one more coming today. There's been a lot of icons and heroes. I still think that a lot of us would really be down for a big regular player SBC. It's, it feels weird to ask for that. We've had so many icons and heroes who are kind of now like, okay, can we get a can we get a current active IRL player in a footies SBC? It's kind of a, a bigger name and a bigger SBC. But if we're going to get that, it's probably going to be tomorrow on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, as that's when we've been getting the biggest player SBC. So watch out for the pop in the Cordoba today, because maybe there's something coming there. And then also, when we talk about Thursdays, we always talk about that seasonal XP tab here with the weekly objectives. We're going to be getting this refreshing today for the last time. And if you do want to save uh, save XP, which actually this will be worth mentioning, guys, if you're already level 40, if you want to save your weekly objectives and however much it'll give you, which may not be that much, it might only be like 500 XP or maybe 25, as I guess the group reward is for this last time. But be thinking about saving stuff from the objectives that you want to carry over into the next season because this next season would actually be very interesting to carry stuff over into with it being the preseason, which will likely give us objectives and packs to grind for heading into FC 25 that will be like grind in FC 24 now to get packs and stuff in FC 25. So that's something to kind of think about. But if you're still chasing level 40, you will be able to get some XP today as the weekly objectives are refreshing. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. Make sure you check your club for bronze rares. If there's a whole bunch that you have in there, list them for like a little over a thousand coins, kind of like I'm doing right now. As you can see here, I'm listing these cards at like 18, 1900 coins. Hopefully collect some sales here as they're about to expire. So people are doing the Icon SBCs, still looking to sell this Morgan card, which I'm going to end up losing like 500k on because I've completely forgotten that I have from my transfer list. And uh, yeah, we will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link's down below in the description if you want to check us out there. Make sure you're checking out the other videos on the channel and FC25 News. More stuff on that coming soon. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe, of course, if you have not already. I will see you guys at Twitch stream today. It's been Nathan with Accountant. Have a great Thursday. Peace.